Alright guys, welcome to your 20th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial, actually in these upcoming tutorials, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create your own custom materials because check out these materials right here. We have a limited amount of materials that we can work with and they probably aren't the best materials of choice whenever you're creating your level. So therefore, we need to learn how to create our own custom materials. But before we do that, we need to get a little more familiar with this thing called the content browser. So go ahead and open up your content browser and clear everything out by hitting all assets X and clear and once you have everything cleared out you're ready to learn what I need to teach you and that's this section over here I kinda browsed over it whenever I was talking to you guys about the interface or I don't even know what tutorial I was talking about but now I want to tell you guys a little bit more about this section right here and the differences between collections and packages because whenever we're creating our own materials we're going to be storing them in packages instead of storing our materials in collections actually we can do both but there's a difference and that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys so first of all let me tell you guys what a collection is a collection is pretty much like your favorite folder on Windows or maybe on like uh, your internet or whatever it's basically your favorites so shared collections is whenever you're working with a team these are the things you want to share like your favorite materials or maybe the particles that you use in your game now my collections those are your personal collections so Bucky's that's the stuff that I use say if I was working alone on a level this is the stuff that I would commonly use so let me go ahead and show you guys how to create one right here go ahead and enter a name I'm gonna put like Bucky's faves and go ahead and click OK and now like I said a collection is pretty much like a favorites folder so now you can see if we double click this we get nothing in our folder by default because we didn't add anything yet so say I was working on a game and I wanted to have materials and make sure you go up to all assets go to materials and then go down to building materials right here and I say alright I want this material right here that I'm gonna be using a lot so I want to add this to my collection in order to add this to my collection right here just go ahead and hit this little button right here and what this does is it added one asset to Bucky's fave so now if you go ahead and double click Bucky's fave we get that material right in there pretty cool huh so now let's go ahead to all assets again and say if I wanted to add multiple ones just hold this hold control and control and control and if I hit this plus button it adds all those four to my faves so now I have all five materials in my faves so that's the basics of what my collections is like I said it's basically just a favorites folder so in order to remove any of these from my collection just go ahead and right click and hit remove or you can just go ahead and select them all by holding control and right click in and hit remove from collection so now I have nothing in my collection and if I want to delete my entire collection just go ahead and re hit remove selected collection and it verifies that you want to delete it and I do want to delete it so now what we're going to be doing is actually let me think for a second okay in the next tutorial I'm going to be telling you guys how to make your own individual packages and how they differ th from collections and I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to open the material editor and eventually we're going to be creating our own materials like these right here. So it's going to be definitely awesome. You definitely want to check it out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.